And now, in the next videos, we are going to show you how to perform the alkaline treatment and the electrophoresis. Hello everyone again. Now we are into the electrophoresis. We are going to show you all the steps of the electrophoresis and we are going to focus on the important parts. So just follow and if you are in doubt as to how we do it, just review this video. We will now carry out the electrophoresis. It is quite clear that this is an important step which can greatly affect the results as they are recorded in different laboratories. So we start by adding the electrophoresis solution. So you might pour on roughly the same amount of liquid each time. And you can see we have made some sort of a mark here. And now I fill it up to this mark. That's it. The next thing to do here now is to check that we have the correct voltage. So now I add the cables and this is a set of cables that are used so that you can still get access to it. We have to measure the voltage which is on the platform where the slides are electrophoresed. And to do that, we have to know the length of the platform. And I know that this is 200 millimeters, but we subtract a tiny bit because you cannot measure at the very end of the platform. Then I use a digital voltmeter. I switched it on like that. And then I put the two probes into position on both sides, a few millimeters, as I said, from the edge of the platform. And I lift it up a tiny bit and then I measure. It fluctuates a bit, but 10.7 volts. So having done that, I can again switch off the power supply. And then we can do the calculation. This electrophoresis tank might be a bit longer than other people are used to. So therefore, in this case, we get a good demonstration of how important it is to adapt the voltage, not only the voltage, but also the, the duration of the electrophoresis to the volt per centimeter. So therefore, for this tank, under these conditions, we should run the electrophoresis for 36 minutes. After incubation, slides all the slides, including the 12 gel units, are placed on a metal cold plate. Remove the cover slip of the slides containing two gels and transfer them to the electrophoresis tank. In the case of the slides containing 12 mini gels, remove them carefully from the 12th unit and quickly immerse them in electrophoresis buffer before transferring them to the tank. Perform the alkaline treatment for 40 minutes and then switch on the power supply. These films have been in various solutions to do enzymatic treatment and then they are dipped very quickly into electrophoresis solution, just for a second or two or five. And then they are placed carefully into the bath on the platform. Both films are put in here. Now we cannot start the electrophoresis right away because we have to allow unwinding to take place. And in this experiment, we will use unwinding for 40 minutes, which is quite common. So after 40 minutes, I take the lid 
and put in on top of the electrophoresis tank to ensure that there is connection and then I take the two lids into the power supply. Now I can start the electrophoresis because now the 40 minutes have gone. So I press start. So now we can go for coffee.